another video. Today I have for you a makeup look. This is my everyday makeup look. Um, a lot of you guys have kind of been requesting or like asking questions about my makeup in the comments below on all my redone videos. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and film it for you. So that is what I did today. If you want to see how I got this look or if you just want to, you know, do your makeup with me, um, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just push back my hair. I colored it yesterday, so I got like stains all over my hands and everything. But yeah, um, I'm just going to pull it back. I do have my eyebrows microbladed, but they're a little bit light from what I really like. They've lightened a lot, um, so I am going to fill them in a little bit. And right now, the eyebrow pencil that I'm using is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. It's this guy right here. For the most part, my brows are fine. I just like to outline them and then just darken them up pretty much, so. Like, I don't go too crazy because, I mean, they're pretty much already done for me. From there, I'll just set them with my brow, my brow gel, and right now I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow. It's kind of like the Gimme Brow, but it's like $2.99, so I'm all about like affordable products. And I just want to say that I used to do my makeup like foundation and face first, and then I did my eyes last, but ever since I got my um, eyebrows microbladed, when you put foundation on, it just kind of like completely just disappears your brow. So that's why I have to do my eyes first now. So it's definitely a change for me because I always used to do my eyes last. And I was like, how the hell can you guys do that first? But it's just because otherwise if I get foundation on my eyebrows, I'm not going to have eyebrows. and not really know what to do from there. So from there, that's when I kind of carve them out even though they're pretty much like whatever. But um, the concealer that I'm using is the Born This Way a Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's in the shade Snow. It's super light. But then again, I'm really fair right now. I just do that. And I carve out my brows from there. And it kind of primes my eyelids too, so. Oh my god, what's up with this concealer? It's like so dry right now. I think I need a new one. I want to try the e.l.f. one. But yeah, no, it's like looking super dry. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. I don't, um, I usually don't prime my face at all with like <laughs> any primer, which is terrible. But yeah, maybe I, I need to shave my brows I don't know looks so weird oh I just freaking just disappeared all of my brow my tail oh god this is turning into a nightmare so usually that doesn't happen but if it ever does I'll just go back in and draw my tail back on okay y'all got me nervous I'm like super shaky right now. Like, I'm so scared. <laughs> and I have like the worst dark circles, so I like to use my concealer a lot in my inner circle. Or my inner circle, my um, inner eye. And then from there, I have been using counter got this for me like two years ago it's the just peachy mattes palette for the most part what i use it for is i take i take either peach meringue or peach butter it doesn't really matter it's the two lightest shades right there and then um i just use like a sonia kasha again it's just like a big fluffy brush and i set the concealer with one of those colors honestly it isn't i'm not picky with the color um it's just kind of whichever one the brush falls into I haven't done my makeup all week because of um, daylight saving, so I've been like a hot mess. Um, what one do I want to use? I'll just do Modern Renaissance. 
So this is clearly a really loved palette. I try and be as frugal as possible because I love it so, so much. But um, I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush. I need to clean my brushes too. This is the Sigma E40. It's really freaking old. And then the first shade I'm going to go into is Golden Ochre, which is this guy right here. So I'm just going to put that into my crease. All right, and then with the same brush, I mean, sometimes I'll switch it out with a smaller tapered brush, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, it is so chalky. I'm going to take raw sienna, my gosh, which is this color right here. So pretty much I'm just building up that, that crease shade. But I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower. I'm not gonna bring it up as high. This is the Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. It's a tapered brush. I said I need to clean my brushes, but let's not judge me today. I'm going to take, I don't know, it's a real gar. It's right there. I'm going to take that and kind of put it in my crease even more, but like kind of focusing it on the outer port, port, <laughs> the outer part of my eye. So I like to just kind of take it and flick it down to kind of create that V a little bit and then um, kind of start dragging it into the crease a little bit. And I'll do like circular motions in the um, outer porter. Why do I keep saying porter? Oh my God. The outer portion of my eye um, just to kind of build it up and to focus more of the color on the outside and then drag kind of what is left on the brush into the crease and if I get it on my um my eyelid I really don't really I really don't really really don't care after that I'm just gonna take the brush that I was using and just kind of blend the two together and then kind of like make sure that the outer portion of my eye like right here is all blended um as much as it can be so it doesn't look like it was just oh, weird so I'll just take a flat shader brush. This is from um, Sony Akashic. You can buy Sony Akashic brushes from Target. I'm sure you guys know that though. But um, from there, sometimes I'll switch it up um, and take either Vermeer or uh, Primavera. I think that's how you say it. Primavera, yeah. Either one of these two shades and I'll pop it right in my lid. But I'm going to take Primavera, or no, Vermeer. Vermeer. The top one and just kind of put it on... Um, the inner part of my eye. So I'll just take the one that I use for my outer corner and kind of blend the two colors together with any extra product that I have left on the brush. So that's what I'll do. And for the most part, I will put eyeliner on the top lid. On the top lid. Sometimes I'll wing it out. Sometimes I'll just do kind of like a straight line just so it kind of makes my lashes bigger and better, I guess you could say. Um, I am not feeling froggy, so I'm not going to do a wing today. I'm just going to do a line. And I don't like to do them thick, but you know, you know how, um, what am I trying to say? You know how eyeliner can sense fear, so it all depends on how your hand works, so. I forgot to tell you guys, uh, for liquid eyeliner, I use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this liner. Um, it's my favorite one from the drugstore. Lately, for foundation, I've been using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is in shade F something. F6, but I feel like it's still very, very light for me. So I put a little bit of a darker foundation. I like to mix it a little bit with what I can. Um but I don't know, I feel like 
when I do that um, in artificial lighting and then I get out into the uh, natural lighting, it looks so much different. So I'm just like, do I really need to do that? So, yeah. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this, but yeah, this is what I do. I'm just going to put a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match. It's in Honey Beige. It's in N6, but I'll put like a very, very tiny bit on my brush. And ever since Connor got me the Jaclyn Hill face brush set, I haven't used my Beauty Blender in months. I This this brush, this face brush has just kind of taken over. Yeah, this is the JH03. It's your it's face brush. For sure, for well, it's her face brush, and I I love it. Um, I don't know. I just think it's a really good face brush, so I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of this foundation just to kind of brighten it up. Usually I use a bronzer, but I ran out, and I figured I could just use a darker foundation than what I have. So I'll just, like, dab it along my face, and... Oh, it blends. <laughs> it's so much lighter over here compared to this. See, is it blended? Is it blended? I also got some hair color on my neck. <laughs> oh, it's just so complicated to do my makeup, or to color my hair. It is a process. Like I said, I'll take my Born This Way, right? No. Yeah, Born This Way concealer, and I'll use that for under my eyes as well. I do prefer a kind of brighter under eye because your yeah, girl's tired. I mean, my bags aren't too, too bad, but I still like it, and I feel like it makes me look more awake. And then I'll just use this Zoeva Defined Buffer. It's the 103 brush. It's angled. Um, I just use it underneath my eye, like a show. So many MUAs are probably like, why are you dragging your concealer? Oh, because my skin's already just shit, so there's really no going back now. I'm not claiming to be an MUA. Um, this is just what I do on the daily. So then I will take this, um, this e.l.f. brush. I don't even know what it is, but I use that. And then the NYX um, HD Finishing Powder. I think this is, yeah, it's in the shade Banana. And I use that to set my under eye. Oh, it's it's broken a little bit. That's new. That's more like that the last time I touched this. And then I take it from the out and then I bring it into the in. Does that make sense? Take it from out, move it on the inner side. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, 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 brush. Yeah, and I'll just pat it in. Okay, and then from there I will take my Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Pressed Powder with a Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. I gotta have this brush for freaking ever. And I'll just set the rest of my face with that. From there, I will take my Tartist Pro Glow. I've just been obsessed with the, um, the contour shade. It's the Sculpt shade in here. I've been using this like crazy. So, and I'm taking this BH Cosmetics, the number three brush. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually the number, but yeah, I just using this, I'll dip it in there and then I'll kind of contour, but mostly just bronze my face to add some color and definition into it. And then I'm just going to take it underneath my neck because your girl's got like six chins. We're almost done guys, I promise. Blush. Um, I use the Sigma Large Angled Contour, the F40 brush. I use this. And this is where things just change daily. It's just what I grab. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll use that. Um, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Hansel and Gretel. And it's like two-toned, but what I like to do is I just like to swirl into both of them and then pop it on my cheeks. You know, I'm the kind of person that's like, the more blush, the better. Um, I don't know. I love blush. Blush is my ish. And then sometimes I'll bring it on my nose because I love that. It makes me look so rosy and stir. I love highlighter so much. Um, I love it so much. I have so many highlighters. 
I don't even know which one I'm going to use today. But I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill JH09 brush. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, don't mind my colored hair dye hands. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's actually really well. It works really well. What, what do I want to use? You know what? Never mind. I'm going to use this Fenty. Um, what is it? How many carrots? Connor got this for me for Christmas. This is insane, but it's so good. You know? But yeah, no, I love this highlight so much. Take it down, right to my nose, tip of my nose, and Cupid's bow. So that's what I do for my face. Sometimes I will do lower lash, like, shadows, but for the most part, I really don't. Um, I don't think it looks weird, personally, for me to just kind of have like a bare bottom lash, so I'm just kind of going to leave it today. For now, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Original. Where's my thing? Yeah. And I'm going to curl my lashes with the Tarte, I don't know, the Tarte Eyelash Curler, that's what it's called. Oh my god, guys, I cannot function. blink my mascara on. If you want to actually see like how I like in depth of how I do my mascara, I will link it in the card above. And then for my bottom mascara, I always use the Maybelline Lash Discovery. I love this because it's such a small brush, so it gets right underneath your lashes. So here, I love, I love it so. From there, I'm going to put on my lipstick. It's an Urban Decay. What kind is this? I don't know, Rouge of the, of the, I don't know. It's in the shade Liar, and it looks like this, and I love, love this. This is literally my go-to. Um, it just looks so pretty and natural. It's like my lips, but better, so... I will set my makeup with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. If you have not tried this, you need to. I am not a huge setting spray person, but this is it. Alright guys, and that's it for today's video. This is the final look. This is my everyday makeup routine. I wear this for work. I wear this whenever I want to go out. Um, this is just it. If I'm not feeling froggy and wanting to do anything crazy, this is my go-to. So I really hope you guys liked it. I know there was like kind of a lot of products, but it is just what I use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.